good morning students this is the continuation video of standard 8 maths the chapter is same exponents during our last video we had gone through laws of exponents now we will solve few sums our first sum is x to the power 5 multiplication x to the power minus 3 we had done that if bases are same we can add the powers so here we have done the same we have added the powers so we get x to the power 5 plus minus 3 that is x to the power 2 our next sum is x to the power 7 y to the power minus 5 multiplication x to the power minus 5 y to the power 3 so we will add here again multiplication basis same so we'll add with the powers of the same basis x to the power 7 minus 5 y to the power minus 5 plus 3 we'll get x square into 1 y y square because here we have y to the power minus 2 so that will be x square by y square moving on to the third sum that is m to the power 5 n to the power 3 by m square n to the power minus 4 here division so we will divide the powers then we will get here minus 4 is already there and for division the minus sign is there so minus minus plus so 5 minus 2 3 m to the power 3 plus 4 7 moving on to the next sum that is x square y to the power minus 3 whole to the power minus 2 if a to the power minus 2 we can write it as 1 by a to the power 2 that same way 1 by x square y to the power minus 3 whole to the power 2 now multiply the power with each we will get x to the power minus 4 y to the power minus 6 that is y to the power 6 by x to the power 4 moving on to the next sum that is 64 m to the power minus 6 n to the power 3 whole power 2 by 3 we can write 64 as 4 to the power 3 m to the power minus 2 whole 3 3 to just 6 and n to the power 3 whole power 2 by 3 we, then we can write it as 4 m to the power minus 2 into n whole power 3 we will take n we have taken all the powers 3 and write it as whole now 3 3 will be cancel out we have m to the power minus 2 n whole power 2 then multiply the power we'll have 4 4 the 16 m to the power 4 n square so we will get the answer as 16 n square by m to the power 4 moving on to that next sum that is so that so that x to the power a plus b by c whole power a minus b b plus c b minus c c plus a c minus a is equals to 1 taking the left hand side a multiply the power inside we'll have a plus b a minus b and that is an identity we can write it as a square minus b square same way a minus b will be multiplied with the power in the denominator so we'll have a c minus b c will continue with the rest terms as well now as the bases are same and there is a sign of multiplication we will add the powers we will get a square minus b square plus b square minus c square and so on then we will cancel out like plus a minus a plus c minus c plus b minus b square so we will get x to the power 0 by x to the power 0 we will get 1 moving on to the next sum that is so that x to the power m plus n into x to the power n plus l into x to the power l plus m whole divided by x to the power m into x to the power n into x to the power l whole square is equal to 1 again we'll take left hand side as we can see that there is a sign of multiplication again basis same we'll add the powers so x to the power 2m plus 2n plus 2l so this division is there basis same we can subtract x to the power 0 that is equals to 1 moving on to the next sum that is an evaluation 
So that is 1 by 1 plus x to the power a minus b plus 1 by 1 plus x to the power b minus a. That is we can write if the power is being subtracted we can write it as division. So that will be x to the power a by x to the power b same way the second term as well x to the power b by x to the power a. Now we will take the LCM here if nothing is there we know the 1 is there in the denominator. So x to the power b by 1 the LCM will be x to the power b. So x to the power b plus x to the power a here we have x to the power a and 1 again taking the LCM of that we will get x to the power a. So multiply that with 1 we will get x to the power a plus x to the power b. Now we will write here that there is a sign of division in both the terms. So we will write the multiplicative inverse of that. So x to the power will b and x to the power a will go in the numerator. So we have the same basis, same denominators again. So we will take the LCM again. We will get the LCM of 2 and 2 a is 2 only. So x to the power a plus x to the power b is the LCM. Then we will divide it with the denominator, we will get 1, multiply it, we will get x to the power b plus x to the power a. That can also be written as x to the power a plus x to the power b. So here there is a sign of addition is there. So we cannot subtract the power. Both the terms are same like 2 by 2. So we can get 1. One more last simplification that is a to the power 7 plus 2n this dot means multiplication a to the power 2 whole power 3n plus 2 here in the denominator as well. So what we will do if bracket means multiplication we will multiply the power we will have a to the power 6n plus 4 in the denominator a to the power 8n plus 12. Again as I told dot means multiplication we will add the powers we will have then a to the power 7 plus 2n plus 6n plus 4 in the denominator 8n plus 12 then 8n plus 11 by 8n plus 12 then we will subtract the same terms a to the power 8n minus 8n in the denominator a to the power here addition is there means we can write separately as well a to the power 8 n into a to the power 12. So a to the power 12 minus 11. So a to the power 8 n minus 8 n is 0 that is 1 and 12 minus 11 is power 1 that is a. So our answer will be 1 by a.